Hi, my name is Josh Evilsizer, and today I'm going to show you how to use Google's Help Me Write feature in Gmail. Are you watching the right video? Well, if you need to know or would like to know how to unlock or find Gmail's Help Me Write button in Gmail, or you just need help or would like to know how to use it, then yes. Uh, first, some clarifications and redirects. Number one, you must have Google Labs enabled first for any of this to work. Video in the description down below. Uh, number two and three, Google Docs Help Me Write is different. Video in the description down below. It's not this video. Uh, and Google Docs or Slides and Sheets visualize and organize also two other separate videos, description down below. Now we learn. All right, Help Me Write helps you do what exactly in Gmail? Two things, simply create or refine emails. Well, how do you use it? Great question. Uh, here are the instructions. Uh, we will also go over how to create a more detailed prompt, and there are those instructions. Uh, then we'll talk about how to refine it, and there are those instructions. Then we'll insert it. But let's go ahead and jump into the demo because that's the good stuff. So control tab is going to take me over there. Uh, the C button is a shortcut that will create the draft email for me. I'm going to move my face out of the way. We can see this shimmering help me write button down there just waiting to take action. Uh, so we go ahead and click on that. Now here it's giving us a um, perhaps helpful idea of a prompt, a, an email to catch up with an old friend. Uh, but we have, we already know what we need to do today and that is a letter of recommendation. So I'm going to pull up my clipboard here. Uh, Windows V does that for me. And a letter of re write a letter of recommendation right here. Uh, I've dropped it in here. I'm going to hit the create button and Gmail is going to give us a very generic letter of recommendation since we gave it absolutely no help whatsoever uh, as to what we we're looking for. And there you can see it's completely generic uh, with no personalization. So how do we make this better? We provide a refined prompt. I'm going to go ahead and drop that up here. We can just click on our previous prompt. Uh, Control A selects everything. I'm going to delete it and then I'm going to insert the new prompt right here. It contains most of the components that I outlined in the outline uh, that are the components of a detailed prompt. Now I'm going to click the update button and we're going to find that this produces much better results. Better question, better answer, right? Better prompt, better results. Uh, and here we can see Captain John Smith and then at the, at the bottom it's got my name in there. Uh, so just a much better result um, as a result of us just giving it some better input before we hit the enter button. Uh, if I didn't like this, I could hit the, re the recreate button and that would give us a different version and we could just keep clicking that until we get a version we like. Uh, or if it's okay, we can go ahead and start refining it. Well, what does that mean? I've got a couple options here. I can formalize, elaborate, shorten, or I'm feeling lucky, which usually produces a poem. <laughs> so we're going to go with the formalize button. Let's say that uh, let's say that this letter of recommendation is just not formal enough for us, so we're going to formalize it. And you can see here it's going to regenerate in a more formalized tone. All right, I like this. Uh, however, uh, it's just too short. I need I need to give this some more love so the recipient knows that uh, Captain John Smith here uh, really did a great job for me because I gave him a great long letter of recommendation. So elaborate. It's going to go ahead and do that for me. Uh, once it's done, of course, we'll check it out. Looks good. I like it much better. Um, it's shown all the time and effort I put into this this email that I've written. Uh, if we didn't, if it was too long, we could shorten it. I'm not going to do that because this is this is we've got it right in the sweet spot. Uh, I'm feeling lucky, as I mentioned before. We'll probably turn this into a poem. Uh, as you can see there, it looks like a dice because you're just rolling them. <laughs> not sure what you're going to get, but there's that option if you so choose. Okay, so I like this. I'm going to go ahead and insert it. Now it's in my email uh, and I can put my cursor in the subject line and Gmail is going to give me a recommendation because it knows exactly what's in the body of the email so it can give me a good subject line. Of course, I can put the recipient in the to line, hit the send button, all that good stuff, but we're done with using the help me write function in Gmail. So I'm going to control tab over to our original screen. Make sure that I covered everything that I wanted to cover with you. Uh, so what's left here? Help me write. Why would you use it? Uh, yeah, very good question. So. Generate something from nothing, of course, is kind of like the um, greatest greatest capability here. You, you give it a little bit and it just gives you um, something to start with. Um, what I also want to make sure I drive home, though, is better questions, better answers. 
And that detailed prompt that I gave it the second time gave us a much better result. Uh, so take a few more seconds to provide a little more input and you're going to get a better result. Finally, at the end of the day, uh, your results are never going to be perfect. You may always have to go in there and just refine or tweak a few things, but um, it's always, always easier to edit than to create, at least from my experience. Uh, simply put, help you write gets you moving, right? And momentum, a body in motion tends to stay in motion. Uh, so just get that get that first start and you're off to the races. That's it. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, please don't forget, uh, there's a lot of link goodness in the description down below. So please, uh, if this video was at all helpful to you, please like, subscribe, and share it with somebody that might also find it helpful. Uh, and if you leave questions, as always, I will leave answers. Thanks for watching. Now go and be productive.